Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna do a little review on the Joker. Joker. Which, Joker. Um, yes. Oh, we're, we're ready. So, should we stand? I guess. I guess do we we're stand doing... already? We're already. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, we're gonna be talking about the Joker today. It's uh, been. A, I mean, With we Joaquin did. Phoenix. Matter of fact, you guys know that's the only trailer we've actually like talked about. On this channel, that's the that's the only trailer we talked about. I don't remember we did, that. We did its own thing. No, no, no. We did the Mandalorian one. No, but that was during a podcast. We didn't siphon off a oh, trailer. Why okay. are we even? I get you. Well, we're talking. Well, it doesn't well, matter. Good question, Elisa. I wasn't. Why in are the we podcast. talking about this? Because it it kind of almost like cataloged the significance of what we felt this movie could be. Right. Oh, okay. And we're here today to discuss whether that is or isn't. Okay. So I guess just so a quick, quick little, yeah. Let's just get a little uh, around the room, like uh, just impressions, like overall. What What do you think, man? I mean, I think we're all just gonna fucking, we're all just gonna circle <laughs> jerk this. Yes, we are. Movie, yes, we right? are. Yes, we are. Yeah, right. Yeah. I, mean, I loved okay, it. Yes. It was great. I like, I it, fell in love with. It. I watched it twice. What? Ah, you saw it twice? Yes, oh, I wanted to see. It I wanted twice. to see it twice. I only saw it once. Mm. Super good. It really was good. I enjoyed that movie I, I very, really very much. I really wanted to go for a second viewing, only to see this stuff, like the, yes. all the other details yes. that I might have missed yes, on my first yeah. viewing. Yeah. Oh my God. Did you yeah. catch anything? Yeah, I did. What'd you get? We're going to talk about it. Yeah. We're tell me. About... Tell right me. Right now? No. Right now? We're not going to go through the movie and then I'll discuss the details? Well, I mean, uh, do we don't we have, have to do the scene like, by scene, I don't think. Do we have uh, bullet point scene by scene? Um, I don't know. I don't know. So I mean, we like this. I mean, oh, okay. You know what? Something that, here. Okay, here's something I can't talk about if we're going to start off with the, the intro in the beginning yeah. and stuff like that. Um, I did see a, a video of Todd Phillips, the director of the movie, okay. which like when I saw that it was directed by him because I, you know, I hadn't really been keeping up. with I didn't want to like you. I didn't want to, you know, yeah. But when I saw it was directed by Todd Phillips, I was like, what? It sounds Wait, like he okay, did old he... school. He did what? Starsky and Hutch with Ben Stiller. You know what I mean? Like he did yeah. those movies. See, I don't pay attention to. I'm here for like the gangbang. That's yes, him. That's him. That's him. That's the actual director. Here for the gangbang. That's bang. all he's I'm here done. For the gang bang. Well, now he gangbang my heart, and my eyes with this movie. My, and my ears. Soul. Pretty great. And my ears. <laughs> oh yeah, your ears. Uh, so going back to my point, so he, uh, so I was watching a trailer. Or, I'm sorry, a video of of him kind of explaining a lot of the the intro and stuff like that. Okay. And after you saw it. Yes, after. Okay, well, after. Like, please. No, yeah, I wouldn't want to say anything before. Okay. Yeah. Oh no. Um, that part you were talking yes. about, so it opens up slowly, right? It's panning in yeah. on Joaquin Phoenix at the mirror, uh -huh. right? And he's kind of doing the faces and stuff. Well, he was saying what he did was he had a uh, music playing, mm -hmm. and obviously you don't hear it in the the thing or whatever, right? But he wanted to set a certain mood, so a lot of scenes he was playing music, oh. and that's why when you see Joaquin Phoenix doing the, the fucking smile. You see, like an actual tear coming out of his eye, mm -hmm. uh, because that, I mean, uh, the music or whatever that they were listening to at the time, you know, kind of evoked that emotion from him. So something like that wasn't supposed to happen or whatever. Like he wasn't supposed to kind of have a tear crying, huh. you know. But like, but it gave that scene a specific like, yeah. Oh yeah. shit! Like, it tells you something about what's yeah, gonna happen. Yes, yeah. exactly. So I thought that was an interesting little huh. fact That's there about that cool intro. So the the Joker takes place in I believe 1981, and okay. it were it's set in Gotham, mm -hmm. right? And what I enjoyed about the overall um, look to the movie was it really makes it feel like a concrete jungle, right? Like you're yes. in the city, like there's just everywhere, right? Um, there was this one weird establishing shot that I thought was very very interesting, which I forgot what's happening in the scene, but there was like a car driving. And it was kind of like you could see the you know how normally when you drive to let's say like actual Chicago, there's like all this land and then you see the city in the back or whatever. Yeah. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. And in this and in this case, it was like just all city that led to like a bigger city, yes. which which made it feel like this large, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. just huge monolithic. Yeah. Like structures, like even the Arkham Hospital, you know, and mm -hmm. one of my favorite things about this movie was the the fact that like art like. The city itself, like Gotham and everything, uh, you know, they always talk about, oh, the city, the city. But, like, it just it felt so much yes. like an actual, like, character, much more than a setting in this movie. Mm -hmm. Obviously, because you have stuff going on, right? Like, even in the intro, right, when he when he's doing the face stuff, he's practicing. 
um, you you can hear the radio and like what they're talking about. And mm-hmm. so there's a lot of stuff like that. You probably, nice. yeah, you'll probably pick up on your second watch and stuff like that where um, I think that's when they were first talking about the super rats super or rats. whatever. Yeah, just yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. You're like, oh man, rats. like you just. You actually, there's a clip where you see a super rat. And I didn't yes, notice right? the first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I was told that, but I didn't see it myself. Yes, it's just like, like the slightest little thing. It almost looks like a possum. Yeah, like off to the side, side, right? Yes, yes I, I saw it the second time. I didn't get to see that or whatever. I was like, man. Man. <laughs> 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 didn't watch it again. Uh, but just, uh, just first impressions, man. The, the stuff they were doing with that city, the outlook. Right, because it opens on him doing his dance there with the sign and everything. And you see the, like that, like you see him dancing. But it's that, that first establishing shot and you see like the rest of the city in the background. It's like, man, this is like this looks fucking cool. Mm-hmm. This looks different. It looks great. You know, I think they did such a good job with however, however much of that was real or not. Uh, they just they did such a good job with like setting a fucking tone, like a vibe for that movie or whatever. And I think it, they they hit that stuff out of the park, man. It was fantastic. There's so many little details in that movie. That yeah. Like, oh, everything yeah, sure. they do in that movie has a purpose. Yeah. Somewhere. Um, and so I mean, we, the whole thing, right? The the idea of this movie is you're gonna watch the Joker become the Joker, right? It's kind of like descent into madness. And I think one of my fears in the beginning, uh, just from watching the trailers, I was like, ah, am I gonna believe it though? You know, that's the whole thing, right? It's like, can you, someone who goes in knowing what's supposed to happen, can you make them a believer? Yeah. Right, because you can go in and with a magic trick, and I'm like, I know what you're gonna fucking do. You're gonna saw the woman; she's gonna come back together, whatever. Mm-hmm. But it's like it's about like presentation. It's like how they sell it, and it's how you get there. I think is what's important. Even if you know he's gonna be the fucking Joker at the end mm-hmm. of the movie, it's like if you can can convince me that this is what led to that. Yeah, you know, and I'm getting goosebumps just fucking thinking about it. But like, God, like they did such a good job. Uh, Joaquin Phoenix, especially man, he deserves so much praise mm-hmm. for what he did in this movie just to, to get from point A to point B to, you know, show like how, how much, not even just how much crazy everything got, but just his reaction to it, his little, like his little quirks, right? Like the way he's like laughing by himself there in the, um, in the subway or something like that. So, okay. Talking about the laugh. Do you, yeah. do you think his condition was real then? Or do you think, that no yeah i'd say i'd say it was it was real it was a real medical yeah i condition. bet it was like think, it was almost like a nervous both. tick it was right both, I yeah because he had two different kinds of laughs yeah he had the nervous tick laugh where he couldn't control it yes and he's like to the point of throwing up yeah and there's the other one where he you know you hear it more in like the the comedy club when yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's the other one like it's fake one yeah that he does but i genuinely think he was doing it. i think this movie about more than anything else is about mental illness that's right? what i was gonna so, say so great <laughs> yeah because you if you ask people if you ask people in a sentence or two what what you know what is this movie about you're gonna hear a lot of people say it's about mental illness and you know like the government's uh mm-hmm. you know inability to you know provide some actual kind of social services like the way that they deal with them and yeah. how they cast them aside oh exactly um or even just what we prioritize right over over our own fucking mental health or whatever mm-hmm. um you know, like, I mean, a lot of people are going to say that you can mirror it to like today's society and have it be the same thing where like we're investing money in like wars and, and you know, tanks and bombs and stuff like that rather than helping our people help, you know, putting that money back into education for, you know, our future and stuff like that or whatever, putting it into the NASA space program. Let's go to space and, and actually you know, know more about our futures, blah, blah, blah. Right. But uh, I think you can make a lot of parallels to that. And that movie is also kind of saying something. Even if uh, even if it's not trying to, uh, Rick, what do you think, man? I liked it, dude. <laughs> it was a good fucking movie. Yeah, it wasn't even just a good comic movie. It was like it a was... good movie. And, and you know, the whole comic thing aside, yeah, like this has no fucking tie-in whatsoever with the DCU, right? Mm-hmm. No. So as like, far as right now, no. Yeah, and they had said that the you know Robert Pattinson, nothing, none of that shit, right? No, thank God. <laughs> Um, give him a chance. You don't know. No. Do you I will th- not give him a chance. Do you think um, the affair was real or not? No, yes. it was not. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it wasn't real, but then the picture. What about the picture? What picture? The picture he's looking uh, at yeah. his mom. After on he the kills back, her. On the back it says, love your smile, TW. 
on it on so the picture like, of her. I was that, that forged or is that's that... possible? It could have been all in his head. Is know? that her head or her head? Her initials were TW. No, no, Thomas, Thomas Wayne. Wayne. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was that's what I'm confused. I was like, wait, what do you mean? Yeah. Well, the first. Time oh, I was like, you know what? Confused. I'm sorry. I was thinking about you mean between him and the girl that he was. Uh, well, duh, that was apartment. fake as fuck. Okay, well, yeah, that's why I was like, that's why I was like, no, it was not. <laughs> Okay, so I'm sorry. I was confused. We're talking about the Thomas Wayne affair. Yeah. I, I think it's cool. Why that... would you call that an affair, though? Well, yeah, they're both it's, single people. I, you could say a, th- a thing for affair. Never mind. Continue. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I think I, that thing can totally be left to interpretation. Um, if I had to say, just based on what I saw from the movie, I'm going to say uh, probably... For, like just if I'm looking off of evidence, probably not because she was mentally ill. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, maybe she was a friend of the family or whatever, and maybe, I mean, maybe they were closer and he was cool with her. If he said like, "Love your smile," like you're great. No, no, I okay. don't see. Oh, I don't know. I don't see I don't just know, anyone writing that. Sort what? Of thing. Okay, here's the, what if they did have an affair, right? Okay, but um, but he was still adopted. Right. right, right. It's that both can still be true. Well, I mean, or, or he's so yeah, big he that, had that power of the elite, you know, changing names, right? And shit like that's that, what I thought know. it was alluding to, that he had so much power that he, he basically made erased those her. adoption papers or something, you know? Yeah. No. Yeah. I mean, I figured like that could totally be a thing, but I guess because they didn't wink, wink or I think hint they at purposely it. Purposely leave it out. Kind of like a lot in, of it's uh, up to you know, yeah. well, Heath Ledger's Joker, how he keeps changing his story. Yeah, mm-hmm. where it's like all of this. Where did he come from? Or all of this, you have conflicting stories that could be true or could not be true. Yeah, and it's like that's how the you know birth of the Joker kind of comes about, right? Mm-hmm. Is yeah, you, all these rumors about him and shit like that, and it just makes him more and more when he didn't even fucking care or want anything to do with it. Anymore. Yeah. Yeah. And then, like, the whole ending kind of goes into that, too. Yeah. Because it could have, none of it could have happened. It could have just been his own, like, one of the interpretations of how he became him. You know what I mean? Oh, you mean because he was back in, like, right. in a holding somewhere. Mm-hmm. I th- I took that as, like, he got caught or they stopped him at some point. I mean, it, that's because one he, interpretation of it. Yeah, because, I w- yeah, exactly. Like, I, I figured... He's done time in Arkham before or whatever, mm-hmm. right? Maybe that's obviously that's where he meets um, Harley Quinn and stuff like that. So I was like, OK, they're kind of like showing like, hey, maybe if there were ever a sequel, which mm-hmm. I think the, I even saw an article that said that Joaquin Phoenix is open to doing a, a sequel to this. I thought the director didn't want maybe. to do it, though. Well, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I would have figured Joaquin Phoenix wouldn't want to. He's, he said he was open to well, it. Well, after he got all upset about everything. What do you get upset about? He walked off of an interview and everything. Really? Mm-hmm. Uh, wasn't that staged? Like, wasn't it like a Jimmy Fallon thing and it was just like clickbait? I don't know. I didn't click on it. I think, I think <laughs> anything with Jimmy Fallon is clickbait. So I don't, I don't know I don't if it's it. Jimmy Fallon. Hmm. I had seen it was uh, like he had walked out of the thing, but I thought that was staged. I could be wrong. Huh. Hmm. I don't know. Well, I know is they, he known they've for both being been getting shit about like it, a, a, a drama queen, though? Joaquin Phoenix? I know Christian Bale is, but is... Uh, I no, not that I... Not that I for Beat a Diva? Not that I, I know, know of. Right? No, I don't think so. I don't think that's a thing. Mm-hmm. Um, Todd Phillips, uh, when I was watching that, that same video, he was mentioning that he's not a method actor like people think, like where you have to like get lost in a character or whatever. Oh, he's not? Uh, but he had nothing but nice things to say about oh. Joaquin Phoenix, so I imagine he's not that hard to work with. I don't know. He did a great job, man. Where he's a liar, bro. <laughs> He's a good liar. He's a good liar. Um, Saying it for the papers. <laughs> no, he did a great fucking job. Yeah. Like the body he dysmorphia stuff he was yeah. doing. Like when he was, he was like freaky. It was doing the shoes, the way he looked from the back. I was like, oh my or God. Or when he was like uncomfortable about watching Thomas Wayne on the TV and yeah. he like stretches. Yes, yeah, so but you also see like his his his, uh, his knees bobbing yeah. or whatever. Like you, you feel that anxiety with him. Oh, and man. I thought that was just so well done. Like, you know, he just... You're you're taken through the eyes of 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 Joaquin Phoenix, right? As he's uh, like essentially going from like fucking clown dude, local clown dude, or whatever, to trying to make it big and everything, and just all those hardships he's faced, all the fucking ups and downs. I mean, you're this is only a two hour window into his life, right? Like, who knows how much yeah. else? Like, because obviously he's been this way for a while, right? But we we come in here 
pretty much at the turn when it's, you know, like what sets him off to finally maybe kind of be that person. It's almost like when they were showing the trailers and they, sh- and I asked Caleb on this podcast, I was like, Hey, what do you, do you think that's going to be third act stuff? Like when he show you know, comes out there and I didn't say it cause I mean, I was, I was thinking at the time, but I was like, what if that's his like TV appearance? Right. Especially cause he tells Robert De Niro, mm-hmm. you know, I want to, can you call me Joker when I come out? Right. Um, I was like, oh, that's how he rallies people, right? Is like, obviously not planning to, but that's the whole thing, right? The, there's oppression in the city. There's people who are, the poor people especially, right? There's just people rioting and, it's and getting Chicago, angry. Chicago, bro. Yeah, because you think like, he, here's the thing that I thought. Like, when you watch animated cartoons or just Batman comics in general and stuff mm-hmm. like that, you're like, oh, fucking Penguin and his thugs. And you got Joker and his thugs. And you got Riddler and his thugs. It's like, how do they... How do they get thugs? Like, who wants to go be beat up by Batman and work for this guy or whatever? Dude, if there was an app, an application for, like, just fucking goons. <laughs> just becoming a goon. just a, a, a B-boy. Yes, I'd, exactly. I'd apply. So you think, like, okay, that just sounds dumb. Like, who just wants to go sign up to be a goon? But I love that this kind of realistically puts it as, like, these people are oppressed. They're fucking angry. Yeah. And they're rallying around, around this guy who's their fucking symbol. Like, yeah. you know, like... It was much more than just like, oh, I'm a fucking Joker henchman. Like, it's just it's just regular people, you know, like falling behind this guy and just fucking like the way they were like pulling him out of that fucking uh, cop car at the yeah. end and like laying him uh, mm-hmm. on top of it, you know, just like kind of holy or something. Yeah, like he's all holy or whatever. But I was just like, oh, this is so, so well done, man. Uh, and I just love that even like. Just how it solves little, just at least in my head, little issues like that of like, oh, this is how Joker gets henchmen. This is how he gets people to do shit for him or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and I thought that aspect was pretty cool. So going back to the uh, to the chick, uh, her not being real, that whole relationship, mm-hmm. what do you think about that? His mom or the, that, the his girlfriend? His girlfriend. Um, I loved it. Yeah, that I thought was it great. was great. I think I think they didn't have to show that she wasn't there. Because well, for the dummies in the crowd, they had to, you know? No, yeah, I figured, well, right? Actually, because... <laughs> actually, so they had that little clipping, of, or when he's looking at the newspaper of the Wayne family on the subway or whatever, mm-hmm. or the bus, and, you know, it shows Thomas Wayne on here, and you go to the, he goes to the house immediately after, and you see Bruce Wayne there, and so he's like, oh, what's your name? And he's like... Bruce, I had people in the crowd go like, <gasps> no way! <laughs> you know, it's like, uh, it's obvious that, like, they all have the same name and it's a little boy, like, duh. Mm-hmm. But, like, they actually had to show that for those idiots, you know? Duh, Rick. I mean, that's just... Mr. Dude, that's not Bruce Wayne. What? You, you, you like, chanceditized me and said that we no, don't know I that's Bruce we, Wayne we or don't, not. We didn't know. I, we knew. I knew. Okay. I knew. That's great for you. I'm just waiting to hear it. Waiting to hear what? I was right. No, you weren't. I was right. I said that kid was Bruce Wayne, and I said that nope. man on the TV was Thomas Wayne, Mm-mm. and you gave me shit about it. Dope. On this podcast. Play that Dope. clip, Frank. <laughs> you, you think they bring Batman? No. Actually, uh, there's already been confirmation that the little boy whose face he's making into a smile is young Bruce Wayne. Oh, really? Oh, that's confirmation yeah. or is it like... It's confirmation. And IMDb, they list that kid as mm, young as Wayne. That's IMDb. That's, I, that's not very Oh, is that not real. official? That's, that's not, not official. official. I mean, no. Because no. they'll, well, the, they'll say movies are in pre-production, but it doesn't actually mean... They're like very strongly... Well, yeah, they, 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 sh- they say that the, the guy... is a credible source. The guy yeah. in the news thing... Well, I It wasn't just IMDb. They referred to IMDb as a source, but I... Or whatever. I read an article that... The guy, the guy in the layers of bad sources already, <laughs> man. I don't you're, know, you're gonna, dude. I'm really sorry I when you eat know, your fucking man. words. Nope. I told you. Nope. Nope. Are you actually gonna go? For He's gonna yes, I am. He's gonna do it, and okay. I'm gonna put it in black and white or something okay. to show that it's He's a flashback. Do it. <laughs> nope. We don't know. Um, but what do you think about that meeting, though? What meeting? Uh, him with Bruce Wayne and stuff. The little kid. Oh, they were talking about the girl stuff. So. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, we can go back to that. Yeah. Well, you brought up, you brought up that little. Oh, thing, that's yeah. true. That's true. Okay. Um, yeah. So I I thought they did, as soon as he was in that girl's apartment, and she's like, and "Oh, she you're you're scared. Arthur, right? You're, yeah." Well, she's scared, and she's like, "Oh, you're Arthur." No, she right? asked, so, No, she first asks, "What are you doing here?" Yeah. That's what she says, and mm-hmm. I was like, "Oh." Oh God! Like this isn't something. I didn't not get it. Right I, here. I didn't get it that yet because she could have been like, "Hey, you 
I mean, you're my boyfriend, but you just, or not even boyfriend, but you know. But you don't say that to a boyfriend. You just walk into my house. Like, what's up with that? You don't say that to a boyfriend. You think so? But, I mean, they only had like one encounter, one and a half. No, no. She had been there at the been there at the hospital with yeah, him and his mom right. yeah, right. you know if they're already that also, established after that they didn't really show the daughter too much when they were together right it no was just i was too. wondering that too True. like True. why is the daughter not here at all and point. then as soon as like reality was so, real she first thing she does is like i have a kid mm-hmm. so what's the uh, second thing she says after yeah. the, she says what are you doing here uh yeah, then it says, your name's this. Yeah, like, you're, you you're Arthur, right? You live down the hall. So I was yeah. like, oh, fuck. I was like, can you imagine that? Right at that moment. That's when I was like, oh, you imagine that whole thing. And, yeah. it, it, and then it there's a little it. more of an exchange. Later. And then it shows it. And I was like, oh, damn. Do you think damn. he killed her? That was another kind of thing. Open the, I, I don't think he killed her. I don't think he killed her either. Because I think, so I think here's the thing, is they would have wink, wink, nod, nodded it, that if he did it, the way they would have, like, at the end, you know, he's having an interview with that lady and yeah. then he's walking and then you see the blood trail Correct. from his feet. I think they would have done something like that to to yeah. at least to this girl to let you know oh he killed her. I think uh they weren't really making him out to be this like crazed Crazy. murderer. Yeah. Yeah. Because like even He didn't kill the, the other uh, guy. The little guy too, you know. Where he was like <laughs> Oh my you know, god, that scene no. man. The only one who's nice to me, man. <laughs> the fucking yeah. scene with that little dude. Oh dude. when he was asking him to He's open the like door. Oh like, was crack. I was man. I was laughing so hard at oh the just the situation, yeah. man. It is so fucking good, man. I, the I'm sorry, you go uh, ahead. Oh, okay. Uh at least for me, I thought the Part of him being a little person was really important to the story mm-hmm. because a lot of it is, I think it's like a mirror to like society, the movie. It's like, oh, look at these people who aren't abled or, you know, have mental illness or whatever it might be. And like, look at these people and these people are being treated unfairly and everything. And so you're rallying behind this person who has mental illness, right, yeah. in this mm-hmm. movie. And then at the same time, they have another person who... Um, has issues in real society, which is like little people who have um, who are less able, mm-hmm. you know, not able or whatever yeah. it might mm-hmm. be. And my whole theater was laughing every time that poor guy went on screen, right? Not just in the part where he can't reach the door, but they were just laughing at his character the whole time. Oh, okay. And so it kind which is of weird because that all scenes were meant to be comedic against them, right, right, right. Um, and so it definitely felt like a, like, almost like a sucker punch kind of thing. Like, oh, yeah, you guys, which is the same thing that happens in the, uh, in the theater. So the whole point of the movie is like, oh, people who are unfortunate kind of rallying against people who have power and everything. And then when you see all these rich people in the theater watching, like, Modern Times, which is a movie about, like, the Great Depression, Mm. and they're the ones laughing at the movie, Mm -hmm. it's just like... Inception, like these rich people watching this about, uh, about these unfortunate people, mm. you know? Yeah, yeah. And so it, I felt like it was really poignant that the whole point is like these people who are ostracized in society. And then my own theater was laughing at this ostracized character, you know? Yeah, which is weird because, again, right, like it wasn't like not every scene with him was meant to be like funnier. Right. That one is so situationally I, so I'll take that hilarious. It, 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 but, it really was. That was the only really time I was like, one of maybe the two or three times that I was like laughing out loud. Um, I laughed in the fucking hospital scene when he drops that gun in that hospital yes, room. Yes, oh my God. I could not stop laughing oh at that. Oh my God. That was, those are such great scenes. Man. <laughs> he's like kicking the gun so as he's trying to pick good. it up and I everything. legit laughed at that. That was oh so God, good. Dude. I laughed that, at the, uh, when the cops, when he's doing his little dance on the steps and the cops come. Yeah. But yeah. when they come is the moment where he's just like pelvis <laughs> yeah, thrusting like, but, but like, and then they me. see him and he's just like, fuck. <laughs> he just like takes off. Yeah. That whole yeah. change. Actually, Actually, those stairs are fucking cool. So, um, yeah, stairs are cool. Yeah, <laughs> all stairs are. Co- I all actually are only cool. take the stairs. I don't take <laughs> elevators, guys. That's fucked up. Stairs? I get, yeah, I get tired. No. Oh uh, no, no, no. So, like the whole first half of the movie, when you see him like walking home and you see him opening up the mailbox and everything yeah. and checking, he's always shown going up the stairs, right? So the shot either follows him going up the stairs or it's at the top of the stairs already, waiting for him to go up. Yes. And you see that the whole time, almost like he's like an uphill battle struggling with like 
life and mental illness and his mom and everything. Yeah. And the only time in the whole fucking film that you see him going down the steps is after he's already killed her. He's killed his uh, ex coworker and everything, and he put the whole stuff, Joker yeah. uh, face on and everything. That's yeah. the only time he goes down. Well, like his descent to madness. Yeah, you yeah. Know? No, that's so. interesting. Like that. Visually, there's like a lot of symbolism. Oh, I bet there's a lot of that. And like yeah. a lot of the scenes in that movie were very, very intentional. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, again, uh, one more time, just referencing that video I saw. So they they showed, you know, those kids were kicking them. But it's like this like different kind of shot. You don't really see it in movies where like half of the thing is just like stairs. And then you see like the, the line uh, where the kids are getting kicked. It's very like graphic yeah. novel like yeah. kind of shot or whatever. And, and you see a lot of like his, just the way he would shoot things, right? It's just very, very fucking different. I yeah. think... Uh, that's a lot of the reason I enjoyed a lot of the movie was it was just visually like mm-hmm. just interesting just vis- like it was visually fucking beautiful to look at and stuff like that even yeah. that little part after he gets kicked with those kids you see the little flower yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. like it's like bleeding hard yeah. right it was so good <laughs> and he did that things. himself because he's like you know yeah. like, putting his hand I was like why would he do that but it was it, like he said uh, the director was saying that it's just him trying to find the comedy and even in, in tragedy and That's stuff like so that. Good. Yeah, it was Man. so good. So, like, what do you think of his dancing? Like when he dances, <laughs> I liked it. It was like so. Here's the thing. So the, his direction to Joaquin Phoenix was, "Hey, I want you to uh, uh, dance." Or no, the way he told him was, "He's like Arthur has music in his heart. He's uh-huh. like, I need, I need you to, you know, when you're thinking about this character, about thinking what you're doing, you need to have music in your heart." And so I guess the way that was interpreted was him have just kind of even weirdly sometimes, right? Just fucking dancing. I love it. And his tidy whitey's just fucking like shaking or whatever. It's not the way you dye hair, <laughs> by the way. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, but back I, then maybe, right? That's not the consistency well, of that hair was dye. Like, what, that 40 was years like, ago? It's not the consistency of hair dye whatsoever. Oh. Back then maybe. Well, you know, when he was doing it, it looked like it was all going to wash off. I was like, that, he was that, using that looks like none of it's going to stay. He was using stay. Kool-Aid or some <laughs> shit, you know? I was like, none of that's going to stay, man. That's what I thought. <laughs> you didn't even like bleach your hair. It's not going to st- but like when you when you ask when you (laughs) ask what did i think about him (laughs) dancing the first thing i picture is him like grabbing his arms like just over his head and oh god i love it his fucking ribs coming out the side i was like oh my god or when right before he comes out of the curtain and he's just like doing this thing and the two camera crew people are just like yeah yeah like like, just looking at him like what the fuck you know so i love that he was just like it's time for him to come out he doesn't give a fuck he's just doing his little like thing like his dance before he like comes out and stuff um I, I did want to ask you guys, what do y'all think about, like, the actual, like, murders, like, the actual violence uh, it that great. happened? It's great. Right? Yeah. I, I, for me, it's, it, you, see, I've seen a lot of movies, and I, I feel like I'm never, I, I don't, either don't feel for the loss or don't feel for the violence that's happening. And in, I don't know what it was about this. It just it just came off, or I was like, <gasps> you know, like, you felt like, oh, shit, like, he just stabbed his friend. Because it's a whole... It's like dramatic the whole time, really yeah. slow, dramatic, yeah. and then yeah. so when those actually hit you, you're like, "Oh fuck, I was not expecting yeah, the how gruesome." Is really good. Yeah. yeah, and I think that's almost uh, what happens in real life, right? Because mm. in real life, you're if you kill someone, it is going to be that dirty. It is going to be that like just yeah. all of that. I mean, you're great. maybe not opening the door for a little person, but oh. <laughs> when he tries to scare him, like, ah, like that you know, was as cool. he's going, that was so funny, it's just so cool. good. I just, I loved it. It's just yeah. I, like how unhinged he was becoming and stuff. It was just so good, man. Oh, I love um, that. That transition with like the blood on his face. Like, I'm going to be on that show later. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm proud of it. Um, the, the Robert De Niro thing, right? When he like shoots it, I felt, I was like, oh I my know. God. Yeah. I couldn't believe. I felt that one. Yeah. In the fucking face. In the yes. face, dude. In front of a live studio audience and everything. Awesome. I was like, holy shit. But I was like, but really, that's that's how you do it, right? You, that line was so I, good, too. I feel too. like that, yeah. like, because in most of the, you know, like, um, old school, like, uh, comics and the fucking cartoons and stuff, a lot of the Joker's shit was done, like, on fucking TV shows and stuff. Yeah. Like, Jack Nicholson's character, remember, he had the, um, the whole cooking thing or whatever, and then it was, like, all the home products that would fuck everyone up and shit. Mm-hmm. But it was all done, like, live on air yeah. for him to get, like, all that attention and shit. Yeah. So, I like that this same way is you know he's on a fucking talk show and doing it like that yeah 
I love how much they connected him to, like, the murder of Bruce Wayne's parents, I guess. I like that. Mm -hmm. Because I, for a second, uh, the movie, I thought, was going to go in the direction that he was going to actually kill them. Like, oh, okay. I was like, hmm, I did think that. that. When he was the when bellhop yeah. and we saw him at the theater, I, I was like, sure oh, we're that. at the theater. Right. Um, and so you could say, oh, well, he started this, or he really put fuel to the whole fire of all these people like rioting in the streets so like he inadvertently killed them mm -hmm. but like when the guy kills when the guy kills them with the same line that he said on that live broadcast like, yeah like what was the line uh well he, you get what you deserve is what oh, the guy said yeah, so yeah. he says what do you get when you get have a mentally ill person in society that doesn't like care yeah you get what you deserve like, so fucking him. good yes oh, it's so good that's so good man i love i want to see this movie again i like robert de niro's character a lot yeah too. he was so likable yes yeah because he was like he was reaching out to him even though he was being a dick to him you know it was almost like he understood that show business is show business but he was still trying to give the guy a shot yeah did you think uh see because i was pretty much convinced that when he has like he has that little thing in his like you know, when you ask him to come down from the audience, did you think that was real for a little until bit? Until he hugged no. him. Until he, until like, you hugged I, him? Well, until he's like, I want a son just like you. Yeah. Then I'm like, wait a second. Yeah. Now, I was one of those dumb put the audience. on him and he came up and he was talking. I was like, nah. Yeah. <sighs> he's, he's too composed. He would be freaking out and laughing. If he, oh, you're right. If you're right. Real. Yeah. He would be, I so. yeah, he'd be acting weird. I, I thought for a second, I was like, well, did that maybe happen like before? Like, like had, is he like a fan has he been a fan of the show and he attended that at yeah, one time yeah I was time? wondering if it like was fast forwarding yeah, or something yeah. I wasn't sure what was going on but no like, oh. if anything it maybe alluded to like how much we are seeing it through the exactly fucking, through, through his lens of stuff you mm -hmm. know that's why I'm like at the very end when it like cuts back to him I'm like okay we've seen he can make up a relationship this whole time he yeah. can make up being it's established he can make up everything so yeah. what about the whole fucking movie yeah. you know that's he says that too. it's an inside joke. And then is what it she, says. Looks, uh, she looks. She looks like. She looks younger, like a younger version of the therapist yeah. that was uh, with him before, too. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. I noticed that too. She looked Interesting. like her. No, I don't think. I think that's maybe just coincidence. I don't think there's any coincidence. Are they? They're yeah. making conscious decisions on casting. You so know? you think none of it happened? That's possible. It's fucking possible. It's possible. I mean, it's possible. I think that could be probably the message that the movie also sends, you know, who with his origins, because everyone wants mm -hmm. to know Joker's origins, but every time they kind of give it, they always fluff up some mystery behind it, because, you know, it yeah. sucks if you know it all. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. Then it leaves it open for other things, yeah. too. Yeah, I guess. It's I like just... when you see the horror monster, and you're like, ugh, yeah. I'm not as into it anymore. And you finally see the, the bad guy. The Babadook? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> the was, Babadook! It was so good until you see it. It's a bird shadow thing. <laughs> <laughs> and they feed it. <laughs> yeah, bro, it was the worst ending ever. I never oh, saw that, it. so. It was like. Uh, it was, I, I enjoyed it, man. <laughs> watch it. On Netflix, good. dude, right? It was like. It. it was just one of those things. It was you good. Just watch it. it was good. It makes you feel man, that anxiety. Man, fucking kid, dude. Ah! <laughs> He's so crazy. Talk about Joker, He's right? A that's, meme. that's like him on the inside, mm -hmm. fucking yeah. crying all the time. <laughs> God, the music was really good too. I really, really liked the music a lot. Even like the the real life songs that they integrated were really well. Oh, for sure. Good, I think. Uh, actually, when that guy was singing uh, "Send in the Clowns" on the subway, I was like, oh, I was like, he's saying he's singing the clowns. Well, I know because it's a Judy Collins song that I've heard. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't know Sinatra. I don't know if if Sinatra was the original. I think he was probably covering it. Because I think Judy Collins did that earlier. Anyway, uh, I think the renditions of that song was was fucking awesome. Uh, on top of just the instrumental stuff that was happening mm -hmm. during, I think it was all really, really well done, man. Just it, just visually, just audibly, I loved everything about that movie. It was really, really good. It kind of blew my expectations out of the water. What did you honest. hate about? That? Yeah, what did you not like about it? I could say what I didn't like about it. What oh, you what? Yeah, it? let me hear. I it. was kind of let down by the ending. I was left down by the ending. What were you well, expecting? Part. Okay, like, I personally felt way more when he was going down the steps for the first time as Joker, or when he comes out from behind the curtain. Then being accepted by the masses and stuff? Right, when he does the whole smile thing, I know everyone was like, oh my god, that's great, but I didn't feel as 
much for it. I, I would have liked if it had ended right there too. Mm-hmm. I didn't need that extra scene in the asylum. Yeah, but, same. You know, I was like, I was, he was let down. I was let down. Were you oh, guys yeah, let down? Didn't like? Yeah, um, after that, I can't. We were gonna. Yeah. I can't really think of anything that I dislike. To be honest, no way. I want to watch it again um, to see if there's anything because one thing I was like, well, did did we really need to see? That he had a relationship like was the girl necessary but i think she is only to just show his state of mind yes yeah yeah for sure so also to show know, that i, I mean have to think and show at that point more. that he's still not in, down the deep end you know he's also, still open to I think relationships it, with people. i think it humanized him still yeah. right yeah, yeah same right? you're showing that well, it's not like he's just the, in a bubble with the you know with the little person there where he spares his life mm-hmm. you know yeah so I think, honestly, man, I can't. I can't really think of anything I didn't like. Like, about there's the still movie. something good in him, even right. though he's like really fucked up. Yeah. What do you think about his relationship with the mom? Oh what yeah. Do you think of that. I think. Um, <laughs> I mean, it was fine, right? For the most part, I think. I, I, once they revealed, right, that she would let the step mm. stepdad beat him and. Abuse him. Time, to abuse him. Time to irradiate Time to irradiate her. I was like, oh shit. And they never flash back to any of this, right? Which right. I Normally, liked. Yeah. yes. I I especially I, I liked that it did that. That it wasn't just like, oh we're gonna show you now we're gonna show you all the stuff that happened. Like you did you just hear it in passing. Mm-hmm. But you like know the weight that that carries just yeah. by them saying it, you know? Um so I did appreciate that that they didn't have to go back and show all that, but just that you you they do the reveal, right? And you're seeing his face and stuff like that, his reaction to it or whatever. Uh, I think that stuff was still like well done regardless. Um, I think, I think, yeah. I mean, m- not necessarily saying that mental illness breeds mental illness or anything like that, but mm. she, she didn't do him any favors by also being, putting him in a traumatic, yeah, by putting thing. him in that kind of situation yeah. and stuff, yeah. you know, like that, that'd be rough for anybody. Well, he even said that his condition is caused by a brain trauma. Mm-hmm. And when they found him tied to the radiator, he suffered head injuries. Sure. Yeah. So yeah. it's yeah. kind of insinuated, or you can assume that the boyfriend that she let hit him or hurt him is the reason why he deals with what he yeah, does. Deals with which is why with. he... Who was maybe killed. Thomas Wayne. <gasps> <laughs> Dude, did you... Okay, what did you guys think about them making Thomas Wayne into like a dick rather than... I didn't like think he was some a dick. Figure. I didn't think he was a dick. I didn't think he was a dick. No. I mean, I thought... He dealt when... with him very well in the <clears throat> restroom. She's well, mentally ill, bro. Fire that okay, hold bitch. On, hold on, hold on. Before you fucking try to come <laughs> off as like whatever. The thing is, he was there in the bathroom trying to talk to him. He's like, oh, what do you want? Like an autograph or whatever? Like, like he he's so, so fucking pompous. He didn't say about... like that. Yes, he did. Well, he was just staring at him, taking out his dick, peeing. And he's like, <laughs> yeah, dude. what do you want? I mean, an autograph. I guess. I guess, but like you want I mean, fucking autograph. But his his demeanor, especially like on TV and stuff like that, is just very yeah. fucking business like, very rigid, very like he's like you know like an asshole. Well, because we're right? looking at your... it from the lens from well, his well hold on. Okay, what is your true. you know what? I buy that. What is your assumption of Thomas Wayne? Uh, well, the, okay, everyone like knows all oh, the the you know the parents die, but I think you never hear about. The dad being a good guy or bad. Everyone assumes, oh, he was good. That's top. That Batman's dad. He was probably good mm. or whatever. But so I think I appreciated this kind of different take on him about being this uh, like tycoon or whatever. Just who is just very hard nosed, just very like no fucking nonsense, just kind of a dick or whatever. I think that's more believable than yeah. someone who is just uh, a goody two shoe millionaire. Yeah, there's no, no, no such thing as a yeah. goody That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm saying I like that he was a dick or not no, really you're a saying dick he's not a dick cuz he's more that's more real. Yes. Well, that's, that's what that's I'm saying. What, that's what I'm he's saying. not a dick. It's more yeah, real. Yeah, he just wasn't a goody two shoe. I say I disagree with you saying he's a dick. I'm saying that's more. I don't think he's a dick. I don't think he's a dick. I think he's more normalized real. Yeah. If a guy was saying. like staring at you, going to the restroom wa- behind you, creepily while you're like in the mirror, mind you, you you're were, fucking like, you got mad fucking money that you yourself worked up and all that. You're a self-made man. You're there. This creepo staring at your yeah. dick. Okay. Now, <laughs> I mean, now, what do you do? I mean, they had other like they showed him on TV too, and he was being a dick there too. He, he wasn't bit. that bad on okay. TV. All right, all right, you're fine. What we can at least agree on is that it made it more realistic, which yeah. I think we both That's agreed. what I had said. That's what I said. That's what I said. That's what I said. I liked it. Except I'm saying he's a dick. You're saying he's not. But we both agree. Both Regardless, agree. it was more realistic. Was more realistic. <laughs> so, yeah, I did. I did like that. Well, I guess one of the, maybe the last things we can talk about is maybe just the the 
color of the uniform, right? It being maroon and Ooh. orangey yellow, right? Rather yeah. than the purple and I like that. Oh, I like yeah. that. Right? It was, it was more of um, like, uh, what's his name? The Joker, Caesar, what's his face? He had more of a pinkish, like, um, whatever. So this one being more maroony and mustard mm-hmm. looked really good. Well, I yeah. love mustard. Yeah, I think the color scheme still worked, right? <laughs> Even though I was, I, at first, I think. Paint? Uh, no, I liked it. Yeah, I liked, I it. liked it. It was like simple, but I think that's what I liked about it was like, yeah, you could see that back in the like seventies, eighties, or something like that. Yeah, because you never really see Joker with any eye um, like yeah. accessory, the, right? Yeah, because he had the, the actual Joker kind of yeah, like had the, the little triangles. Yes, well, he was just copying the mask though. Was he? He had the mask that people yeah. were rioting with and copied that exactly. Well, that was his mask, and then people started doing his mask, wasn't it? No, he saw someone in a car. With it, well, wasn't he already doing the makeup? Yeah, yeah, in the but opening he, scene, the makeup was already the doing it. Makeup's a little different. In the opening scene, he's already doing the makeup. Mm. Yeah, so and he's using something as a reference as he's doing it. I think yeah, the masks later, were made after you his really think costume. they actually created masks that what they thought they saw. I see a bunch of fucking Trump masks everywhere. People can create plastic masks all the time for a short amount of monies mm. for whatever the fuck they want, right? You look at the Guy Fox masks. Those are all over the place. Do I really think someone would make masks to make a political statement? Yeah. Or red hats? Yeah. But, I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. That's a good question. I don't remember I don't if know. his makeup changed. I mean, they... I need to watch they, it a second time. Yeah, yeah we, we need to watch, watch it a time. second time. <laughs> I don't remember if his makeup because changed. Because it does open on him doing the makeup first. Yep. I just don't know if he's if it's the using same. the mask or if he just, I don't know. Well, in the scene right be- when he's dyeing his hair, he has the, the revolting mask. The revolt mask or whatever. On the side, and he's looking at it, and that's why he's dyeing his hair green, because that one has green hair. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. So I assume the makeup too, but I don't mm. know. Open to interpretation. I need to rewatch it. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. <laughs> And then, yeah. and then, well, even if, right, because time, if the ending was the whole time right. thing, then it could be also that they show it before, but he doesn't get it until after the inspiration. But yeah. because the film is shot in a certain way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Great. I loved it. Great nice movie. movie. Fantastic. 10 out of 10. If, uh, yeah. Great. Okay. We're going to review. Out of Rick, how many? How'd you like it, man? Out of how many? Uh, I'd say like an 8.5. Out of ten, yeah, hmm, interesting. What would it be out of? Out of five? Out of An eight point five out of five? Wait, out of twenty? No. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, it's high up there too. Eight point five, <laughs> maybe a nine. It really left an impression on me. Yeah, for real, right? I really liked it. Yeah. I was thinking about it. I, I, I've been thinking about it, yeah. After like after I saw it, I've been thinking about it for the next couple of days, and yeah. I thought about how it made me feel. Mm-hmm. And there's very few movies that make me feel like that, and, yeah. and those that do get a five out of five for me. Oh wow! It was very good. good See, I live life like there's no such thing, so that's why. I don't well, uh, okay. Here's the thing: is the way I see it. If mm-hmm. you're doing a rating system, there's no such thing as perfection. Right. It's just how it made me feel. Oh, it, five yeah. out of five. Then. <laughs> that's 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 the way I go about it. Good. Movies that made me feel fucking great or whatever. I'm like, I mean, yeah, I'm gonna, you know, that made an impression that made me like fucking think differently Let's or. Fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, so that's why I give that movie like really something like a five out of five. Yes, me, made a really sure. really good impression. I loved it. I want to go see it a second time. There's rarely movies I want to go see yeah, a second time, I never even though I enjoy them. Once. Yeah, so I'm definitely five out of five for me. It's yeah. Cool. Great. Thumbs up. Great. Two thumbs Get up. That's a two thumbs up from Lo Fi Kingdom. It's a great, <laughs> great movie. Go watch it if you haven't. It's uh it's worth it, man. Worth every penny. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Tell you that. Yeah. Tell you that much. Anyways, <laughs> guys, thanks for tuning in and checking out everything we do on all of our thoughts and impressions on um all the movies and TV shows and games we play. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. 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 Feel him, feel him. Oh Oh my my god! God. (laughs) Jesus Christ! That was wet. Oh my god, that was wet. wet. (laughs) Where's that thing been? Here we go. Ready? One, two. Oh my god! (laughs) The fuck was that? (laughs) It was probably me too, because I was like...
And I did like a cat woman. Yeah. 